Hello and welcome to this inspirational HLS story of a Nigerian youth. As a way of developing his leadership potential towards contributing to the development of the Nigerian health sector, one of our students at the University of Benin was selected to represent Nigeria at the 2017 All Expense Pay Healthcare Leadership School in Kentucky, United States of America. He is Courage of Samudiame in a 50 year medical student of the University of Benin. Courage is a young visionary medical student who is passionate about causing a transcendental and unprecedented change in his generation and in the world. He always looks out for opportunities to empower him and get him set to impact people around him. He got to know about the Healthcare Leadership School, popularly called HLS, from his colleague Edith Uwohiren, who is also known for doing great things. He got to know a few days before the close of the application. He applied wrote several essays and did a YouTube video on the reasons why he would like to go for the training. Fortunately, out of hundreds of applicants that applied all over the world, Courage was selected for the training. That selection was a relief after the struggle of applying for the training. However, he couldn't obtain scholarship from the organizers as he was told that the financial commitment on the organizers at that time was high. He continued to write an appeal to the organizers to consider him for a scholarship, but to no avail. He decided to write to his school to sponsor his trip and his registration fee. Moving from one office to another, Courage passionately pursued his letter to see to it that it was attended to. He would miss lectures just so that his appeal letter was not left unattended to. Going for the training meant a lot to him and his career as a medical student. He had so much confidence that his school would sponsor his trip to the United States of America for the training. As each week passed by, his confidence dropped. He tried for months to make sure he got sponsorship but couldn't get any. The training was already getting close. He was already nervous at that time. He applied for the United States visa, traveled to Abuja, Nigeria for his interview, and he thought as a medical student that he would get the visa without stress as people made him believe. Unfortunately, he was declined. That declined statement from his interviewer shocked him. He didn't know why he was declined. According to him, he answered all the questions without telling a lie. He went home sad and depressed. Then, it was already a month to the training. Again, he got a mail from the organizer stating that the training had been postponed to June 2017 instead of the earlier scheduled October 2016. He got over the outcome of the visa interview and forged ahead. He was so determined that he resumed pursuing after his letter of appeal to the school. Again, that was futile. He wrote several letters to the organizers, appealing to them for financial support to be able to attend the conference. He got no favorable response. Then, he decided to let it go and move on with life as he believed that other opportunities would come his way. One day, as he was reading in the library, he received a mail from the organizer stating that he should send them how much he would need to make the conference. He joyfully sent the amount. He thought that was the end of his troubles and that the organizers would respond speedily and pay for his trip. To his surprise, the organizers didn't respond for weeks. He went on with his schoolwork, believing that other opportunities would come his way and that if God wanted him to attend the conference, he would make a way. One fateful day, while he was in class preparing for the next lecture, he received a mail from the organizers telling him that they have decided to sponsor his trip, accommodation, and everything as it pertains to the conference. Seeing the mail, he was puzzled and amazed. He screamed out as he couldn't hold his feelings, but bottled up after a while so people would not ask him what was going on. He hurriedly looked for money and scheduled an appointment for visa interview. Then he set his mind right, believed in the unlimited power of God, and engaged in prayers for visa securement. Then he went for the interview. Lo and behold, the visa was approved. You've done it again, Lord, you've done it again, Lord, he exclaimed. He happily wrote to the organizers, 
telling them he had gotten visa to travel and after some time the organizers booked his flight hey it was time to travel what an exciting moment for courage off to Murtala Mohammed Airport Lagos Nigeria he flew to Louisville Kentucky with layovers in Germany and New Jersey glory to God the flight was safe now in Kentucky courage has this to say about his experience in HLS The Hertzkel Leadership School is an international platform for personal leadership of students from all aspects of the healthcare system, such as official physicians, social workers, public health workers, nurses, medical students, young doctors, and other young professionals in healthcare. During a short week, participants participated in a variety of engaging media, interactive lectures, dialogues, visualizations, reflections, philosophical sessions, physical activities and experiences, all geared towards changing the healthcare system one student at a time. I learned a lot on the role of compassion in healthcare delivery. Compassion is sitting with people in their darkest places. Non-judgment is a critical aspect of compassion. Compassionate healthcare is just as powerful as many of the drugs out there. I also learned on the role of mind-body connection in medicine. Indeed, the prognosis of a disease condition in part depends on the psychology of patients. All the things discussed during the healthcare training were human between better ways to collect patients and end-of-life issues. I must say that I have been sufficiently equipped to effectively cause a change in Nigeria's healthcare system. I appeal to healthcare professionals to inculcate compassion in their healthcare delivery, seeing patients as they really are and not as mere kisses. Thank you.